Hey, what's going on, people? I want to say thank you for clicking on this video. Trust me, I know it's a long one, okay? But I spent a lot of time editing this footage, putting it together, so hopefully you guys enjoy this content. But either way, guys, today's video is being sponsored by Copper John's Beard Company, a great company out of Utah that makes awesome products for our beards. I will have all their information down below in the description so you guys can go check them out after the video but either way guys get your popcorn your water let's get ready for this content let's go this video i'm doing another vlog for you guys i know you guys really enjoyed the first vlog that i did a couple of weeks back so we're doing another one and this time i'm actually heading over to pa and you're probably wondering what are you doing in pa you hanging out with the amish no i'm not but hey listen shout out to the amish people <laughs> But actually, they're having the 2021 National Beard and Mustache Competition. Now, today I actually registered for the full groomed beard competition, the three to six inch. It's my first time going, okay? And I'm excited to see what's going on. So make sure you follow this journey as we head over to PA. Okay, but wait, hold on. We got a little bit of an issue. Here's the problem. My barber, Chucky, leaves to California tomorrow morning. And... He's my barber. He's the one that I don't I don't use like a, a brie or anything like that to trim my beard. My barber has always done that for me um, in the last year. So with that being said, he's heading over to California tomorrow. The shop is closed. The shop that he works at is on vacation. So I hit him up today. He said he would. It's about almost 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here. And uh, he said he should be able to get me, you know, be able to trim me up and this and that. But let's see what happens. Well, so listen. It's after nine o'clock. Uh, my barber called me. He said that he could cut my hair. So he's swinging through the crib. We about to get this haircut in. Cause uh, yeah, man, he's, he's about to be out. He's about to be out. I got you on the vlog though. Say what up, Chuck. Yeah, no, vlog, vlog, vlog. <laughs> Came out here, about to give me a cut for this competition. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these. Cause my last name ain't Ken. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah, yeah. I learned my right from wrong on a song I let my heart bleed on my sleeve through microphones I'm trying to write my wrongs By writing out my wrongs Ran through a check Cause it's hard to live off bread alone So if you see me slipping Yeah, yeah, let me know Cause it ain't the end of times yet I know, but it's getting close Yeah, I need my space to breathe That's why I be going ghost I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road Cause I can't let them take my soul Nah, 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 no Oh, I can't let them take my soul Nah, nah Boy Chucky came through. We just wrapped. He got me ready for. I'm telling you, it's going down in Pennsylvania on Saturday. So he came through. Beard is crazy sharp. You know, faded. Let's go. Appreciate you, bro. All right, man. Safe travels. He's heading to Cali to do some content and cut some hair. So we see you. I'll see y'all Saturday. Let's go. Today's it, man. 2021 national championships. All right, people, let's go get this dub. Let's go do it. Let's get up. Here we go. people so i decided to actually bring another camera the uh the one that i use for reviews i brought that because i'm learning right especially in crowded areas um it's going to be hard to hear the sound so 
yeah man i brought that i'm gonna be using the phone right now i'm on the phone right now you know got my beard ready i brought some butter brought some oil uh from copper john's a couple of combs um to make sure i can take care of it over there but uh, i'm about to get some breakfast before i head out over to pa and this one spot psh, bro watch what they got there i hope they still have it so right, let's so go I'm actually here now finally i'm gonna get some breakfast i'm gonna take some stuff like because this is a two two hour and 20 minute around there two two hour and two 20 minute road trip so bro they got this one hot drink here you about to see what i'm talking about you about to see do they have it? They have it. Since I am not, I'm probably going to stop for some coffee. You know what? I'm not going to get a monster. I haven't drank a monster in a while, but um, this is the drink that I'm talking about. I'm going to show you in a second right now. This is the drink. So it is not that, not that, not that. Ooh, not that. Boom, y'all see that right there? Oh man, if you've never tried this before. Oh yes. <laughs> that right there is so good. people so listen here it is i got my <laughs> my horchata drink and if you, those of you that do not know this is like a traditional uh south america cent more central america and mexico um drink it's uh like rice soaked milk they'll add sugar some cinnamon um like if you go to mexico it's a little bit more lighter if you go to central america it might be darker um so bro this drink right here oh, you don't understand it's so good <laughs> But either way, listen, bro, I got my breakfast and stuff. I got picked up a couple other things because it's going to be a long trip and uh, I'm going to be late. Oh, who would have figured, right? Uh, Jay Cruz late to an event. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. I'm heading out to PA. Let's go get this win, man. Let's go get this win. Definitely not the neighborhood if you catch my drift. Um, but I see a couple of killer beers already, bro. I'm trying to find the center, and it should be a great time today, man. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Let's see who we meet. Let's go. <laughs>
they just made sure to see where my beard was and three to six inches. I'm good, homie. And they gave me this bag. Uh, they told me to sit in this line. We're gonna see what happens, but um, so far I ain't a lot of people here, but the, the contest goes all the way till 11 o'clock tonight. So we'll see how it turns out. So I am here. Uh, the competition should be starting a little bit later. Uh, this is my number, number 280. I did switch cameras, but what I'm gonna do right quick, the reason I actually ended up turning this camera on and using this mic so you guys can hear me. So basically, this is the bag that I received and I'm gonna check what's in here. I saw a little bit of it already, but just so you guys can see kind of like a, like a live unboxing or something like that. I hope this camera does not fall off, okay? But uh, let's see what's in this bag. Lake One, I guess this is just like a visitor's guide for here. This is what they give you in this bag. A little bit of everything today, but I saw something in here that I was like, hmm, let me see what they got here. So, wait, did I remove it? Wait, did it fall out? I think it fell out. <laughs> There was a beard oil in here from a company, and now I don't know where that's at. So, Valhalla? Valhalla, can you see that? All right, right there. So, scent profile, sandalwood and vanilla. Uh, ingredients, sweet almond, no problem. Apricot, argan, jojoba. Avocado, hemp seed, grape seed oil, uh, organic hemp seed, grape seed is like towards the very end. And then vitamin E is the last oil. And then you have your fragrance. It's called Mad Viking. You ever heard of Mad Viking? I never heard of them, but they're giving this, these out right here with uh, everyone's bag. So I'll give it a quick, a quick little a quick little, um, oh, it comes with a resistor top. Wait. Okay, there you go. Okay, vanilla sand. Now look, this might, this is gonna go on the uh, CMU, the Healthy Bearded uh, sticker board. I'm gonna have to place that somewhere on there. So they give you one of these. These are co cozies, koozies, whatever they call them. But yeah, man, we're having a great time. The guys right here are recording someone. Um, I don't know what they're talking about, but it'd be pretty cool because if they ask me to go up on the camera, oh, I'm in there. I'm in there for sure, for sure. So uh, let's see what happens. Um, so basically what I have in beer today, you guys saw it in the beginning of the vlog, I have uh, Polis from Copper John's Beard Company. So this is the Gray Line series. I have the oil and I have the butter. Now, you don't really need the butter for this type of line, but sophisticated, mature type cologne scent. And I'm gonna be putting this on right before I hit the stage. Uh, I'll put the, the code down below so you guys can check out anything from Copper John's Beard Company. So, save yourself some money, help the channel. But yeah, man, um, 
we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. This is so much fun. It's so much fun to be with everyone and to see your style. Because this convention is all about style, right? A thing they can't take away from you. You can't take that away from me, my style. Your panache. The thing, your flag, the flag that flies in front of your face. Okay, we're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna get this beauty contest started here. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce our judges. We advocate on behalf of us, the small but mighty, extraordinarily, ruggedly handsome, mustached and bearded community. It's great to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. I'm sure he will judge fairly. Of course, let's get right this now. out of the way right now, everyone, because a lot of you, let's give him a big hand. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this man. Obviously, he is an expert in being handsome and having style and just being groovy and knowing how to make you feel good. All right. Got it? Oh, uh, it's new, new look. I used to have a full beard. Do, what do you like better, the full beard or the, or the mustache? Uh, mustache right now. Mustache. Yeah. Mustache is nice. Thanks. Thank you. And I, I, I call it my uh, Sam Elliott mustache. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott's a great actor, ladies and gentlemen. A good role model. Who's Sam Elliott? Excellent, sir. Excellent. I don't know this man, but I've seen him on social media. He has a huge following, this dude right here. <laughs> Yo, they got some fire muscle. Now, crazy thing is, like, um, Zach from West Y, I know he used his products before. How many people have done this style, before? So. Yeah. We've got some veterans here. That's More crazy. than one way. Number 45, please come down here. That's crazy. I would also like to call the groomed stash. Everyone, anyone in the groomed stash category, please report to the side of the stage now. Sir, what is your name? My name is Bob, and this, of course, is Elliot Norris, my mustache. Elliot Norris is amazing. I'm just, I, I'm basking in his, in his deadly rays here. Thank you. Uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of wax do you use, my friend? Today I am representing Team Death Grip, and I'm using Sudden Death uh, Wax today. Oh, nice. Let's give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to smile for the camera. Number 42, come down. Please. Yo, look at these mustaches. Yo. <laughs> Hold me popping instead of Mary popping. He's singing yo, rain. Ladies. That dude at the end with the cowboy hat, yo. Look at that man's. Bro, what the freak? That's legit. Okay. Number 88, please come down here and introduce yourself to us. And uh, do you like Salvador Dali? I love Salvador Dali. What do you know? What is, what is Who's that? What do you know about Salvador Dali? Oh, I know a lot. I mean, and, and we were fortunate enough to travel to uh, Spain and Barcelona and Cadiz and we visited his household. And, yeah, oh, wow. He was just bravely himself and unabashedly just who he is. You know? Ladies and gentlemen, we have in our midst a world traveler, a man of culture, Good luck to you, sir. Good luck. So, Ben, listen, they just did a 10 minute intermission. Um, and I don't know exactly when they're going to call me, but I'm in the front row. So, the people that are sitting next to me, I'm going to have them record me. Well, I'm going to ask them respectfully if they can record me. That way, uh, you guys can get a better shot of me being on stage. What's pretty cool is that they're giving everyone like an opportunity to speak, kind of share a little bit. So, oh, best believe, homie, I'm plugging the channel. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Shaped goatee, ladies and gentlemen. Smile for the camera, sir. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to lead you over here to this X, and I want you to just give this camera right here this tiny little thing. Yes. Very good. And then we'll take our place on the stage. Oh, Nanook, you have come. That's got to be more than 18 inches. I mean, I'm no carpenter. No. That's got to be longer than 24 inches.
Easy thing, right? We're on intermission right now, but here's the crazy thing. They have a category, hear me, a category called the most creative beard and stuff like that, bro. They got women in that competition. Now, I don't, I, I saw one that I know was a fake, like mustache, but I saw some of them walk by and the beards, like the design, crazy. Watch, we, we about to see them on stage. It's crazy, I'm telling you. This is called the creative beard category. Category just got called. Be a great job for us, though. We'll see how it turns out. Our next category is the full groomed beard, three inches to six inches in length. Three inches to six inches in length. Please promenade across the stage and take your place. On the bleachers. Yeah, bro. What a bunch of handsome men. Distinguished. Number 82. My good man, what is your name? How you doing? Uh, my name is Jay, Jay Cruz. Okay. Yes, sir. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from New Jersey, representing Copper John's Beer Company today. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Out of Let's Utah. See. Copper John. Copper John's Beer Company, yep. Copper John Beer Company. What are some of the products that Copper John Beer Company makes? Oh, man, they got everything. Uh, beard butter, beard balm, solid colognes, beard oils. Uh, I'm a content creator on YouTube, called, and my channel is called Healthy Bearded. Um, overcoming the uh, overcoming the 500 pound life and learning how to take care of my beard in the process. So, yeah, yeah. Learning how to take care of your body, learning how to take care of your beard. Yep. Excellent. Check him out on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. We wish you luck, sir. Okay, this looks like a relaxed character here. Hang loose, bro. Yes, sir. Are you relaxed? Very relaxed. Four okay. years ago. Yes? Retired from the Navy. 31, please come down. <laughs> Number 23, please come down. Number 236, please come down. Okay. I think 131's going to win. Number 23, you are the third runner-up. Oh no. Who's gonna win? The groomed beard, three to six inches. And it is number 131. He did it. He did it. In second place goes to this fine young gentleman here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause! Alright, so the competition is over in my section. I didn't win. I didn't realize the competition for this stuff is very, very steep, but I had a great time. And uh, I'm gonna come back next year, hopefully. Something that was pretty interesting that I'm considering moving forward is actually using heat. I don't usually use heat, but the brothers that were on stage though, I'm telling you, they was using heat. 
Uh, but it was really a cool, a really cool experience here at the 2021 National Beard and Mustache Competition. Shout out to Copper Johns. But guys, it was fun. It was fun. And I got some content, so yeah. Here now by the bar area, supposedly the wait to order food. It looks like it might be a while, but I decided to come over here, chill a little bit. There's a coffee stand over there that I'm gonna end up going over there and hopefully maybe talking to the owner, we'll see. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs, enjoying the content. It's kind of funny because people are looking at me, they're like, yo, what is he doing? So I'm bringing this content to y'all, okay? <sighs> so ladies and gentlemen, y'all know who that is, Mr. Beer Laws himself. How do you feel about the competition, man? It was good, man. I loved it. Uh, tough competition, especially in your category, my category. For sure. Ginger beards always win. They're fantastic. They're magical. Yeah. Right? For sure. For sure. Make sure to check, check you out on Instagram. What's your Instagram, YouTube, Beard Laws. TikTok? Beard Laws everywhere. Beer Laws, all social media platforms. Appreciate you, bro. Hi, man. Hi, man. Yo, my man, how fast are you, man? Ooh, fast. Really fast? Yeah, I've had to take breaks all day. Like, did you I've win? already come back. Did you win the competition? Uh, in your no, catalog? I didn't. No, I didn't look to place. Okay. I know who's here. Oh, okay. I'm here for fun. Okay. I'm, I'm here for the fun. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah, man. Great job. Thank great you, job. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, sure. My signature pen. Oh, man. Listen, <laughs> can I put you on my blog? Sure. All right, so your name again, sir? Is Robert Mevick. From? Blessed guy in New York. Listen, I had to literally like look for him after the after the after he went up stage because bro, look how fly he looked, man. He is flied out, bro. <laughs> and he just hooked me up with one of these buttons right here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it on my cause I stream every Tuesday. I have a show on YouTube with like mm -hmm. 80 to 100 people oh, on wow. a weekly basis. We talk about beard content and stuff like so that. So what is the name of your channel? Yeah. It's Healthy Bearded. Healthy Bearded. Yeah, Healthy Bearded. It's on YouTube. Yep, okay. it's on YouTube. Hold on. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. See, I'm ready. I got, here's a business card. All right. There you go. Yeah, yes, come yes. out. We have like, it's interesting to be here because, um, you know, there's a lot of people here and it's interesting for me to hear what kind of products they use on their beards. Right. So what products do you use on your beard? Well, based on the, because of the beard style, yeah. and to compete, I can only use a light oil. Okay. So today, I, I, I forgot all my oils at home. No so, way. <laughs> so I went over here to my Viking and they're like, let me smell what you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I found one and uh, I used a little of that. I can only use a little bit and yeah. then I blow dry. That's okay. out. So you use so heat. It just yep. stays. Yep. For, you know? And uh, that's what a lot of people don't do is like a lot of guys don't understand about the blow drying yeah. aspect. Yeah. Using the cool air and. You, you, then you got to take a pick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I tell you now, it's funny that you mentioned that because after being on stage and seeing all the other beards, I'm like, you know what? I might consider actually using heat on my beard. I don't. So, but I know well, there's a cool process. Air. Cool air. Cool air okay. with round brushes. Okay. That's what gives yeah. you the lift. Yeah. Because and I learned that like you know because you you but you got to take see the most amount of growth is going to be from here down. Okay. So you take that and bring it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go, huh? Do you Dude. use do you use, do you use, trim your own beard or you go to a barber? I go to a barber. Okay. He and I know I'm gonna have to call him or tell him, hey, I won twice and make <laughs> the double national winner. Yeah, man. They, that's what they were saying. They were like, Rob, you're gonna have to go up for best in show. You won two titles. Yeah. So Ladies like, and yeah. gentlemen, this man is a champion. Okay, I need y'all to understand that. This is your second year winning. I won twice this weekend. I won best. For uh, Amish, okay. and our honest beard, okay, and then I won nationals for Donny Golf. Wow, okay, so okay, two times this weekend. Okay, do you have an Instagram, Facebook, anything? I do have Instagram. Okay, what's uh, it? shout it out right there. I think it's RMM six one two seven for Instagram. Yep, and my name's Robert Mevick. Find me on Facebook. And yep, for sure, for sure. So guys, look, we got another Beardsman on the Healthy Bearded channel. Appreciate you, man. All right, have thank you very man. much. Yep, good luck, good luck. Day. Yep, have a good one. So that was pretty cool. Now look, I'm gonna find out about this right here. Y'all know, right? At the CMU, we drink coffee, right? But you know what? This kind of reminds me of something. I'm gonna show you. So this is the coffee company right there, but I'm gonna get some coffee. So let's see what happens. Let's see. I'm in line. I'm in line. How you doing? You don't mind me having the camera around? Uh, All right. So listen. I'm really pretty. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of coffee. 
Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your coffee. You, you mind if I put you on my vlog? I don't care at all. All right, there you Guys, go. Right now I'm offering four different blends. Okay. I have, this is my high caffeine blend. Okay. Okay, so it's basically two, three times more caffeine than a regular rabbit. Okay. Bean. I've got my Rise and Grind, which is more of a middle of the road kind of Colombian. Yep. If, you, if you drink Folgers or Maxwell House, you're gonna love that coffee. Okay. My heart and soul. Heart and soul? Uh, it's a bright, really fruity, uh, I, I describe it as a, as a breakfast coffee. When you okay. wake up and you want something zesty and good, that's what you want. And this is my dark brew, or my dark roast, uh, which is my most popular by far. Okay. But all my coffees are smooth and good, man. Like, that's just what I do, so. What got you into, uh, is this your company? Yeah. What got you into the, having your own uh, coffee company? I'm a coffee company? nerd. I drink, yeah? I drink three things. I drink water, I drink whiskey, I drink coffee. There you right? go. <laughs> but I don't but I only drink the good ones. Okay, but, yeah. So you spend so much time out of convenience buying cheap products or doing something that you're not necessarily in love with, you just think you like, because yeah. and then when you get a good cup of coffee or a good beard oil or, or a good whiskey, yeah. you're like, I need that again, but you can't find it. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go learn how to roast. And that's what I've been for doing sure. for a few years now, like four or five years. I went to roasting school, I learned how to roast. Oh, wow, okay. And where's your company located? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, okay, yeah. so not too far. Yeah, and I roast everything to order too. So, oh, like when I you see. order in the so morning. So no drop shit. Right, no, I, I roast at night. You can see here, I roasted this on the night before okay. I came. Yeah. Um, everything's got a roast on date. So you, okay. when you go order coffee for me, you're getting within you're getting three day old coffee, wow. not not three month old coffee. Do you have a business card? Uh, yeah. Actually, I do. Right, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buy coffee, so let's do that. You're not buying so, coffee. Tell me what kind you want. So, okay, what I usually, I usually drink coffee during my live stream. Yeah. Um, I usually drink, you ever heard of Bustelo? I drink Bustelo and I drink, uh, I'm drinking uh, Bones coffee. Those are kind of the ones that I drink. Okay, what, what flavor of Bones? Uh, I've had the Jelly Donut. Yeah. And I've had the Maple Bacon. I've had some of the other ones, but they're not as tasty. Yeah. I kind of like just normal flavors, like they have a rich roast. Yeah. Deep, you know what I'm saying? You want these two. Okay. Those are your coffees. Okay. And I'm going to give those to you and I want you to try them. But here's the deal. If you don't like them, I want to know. Wait, you're giving them to me? Take them. Well, hold on, no, 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 no. Okay, so look, this is what we're going to do. I have, <laughs> I have a live stream on YouTube okay. uh, on Tuesdays. It's called the Community Meetup, the CMU. Yeah. I get 80 to 100 people on that show okay. watching. Um, and I'm always drinking coffee. I'm yeah. always drinking coffee. So I'm going to make sure to plug this company and give you a shout out. Well, that, I appreciate that. Yeah. That's not why I'm doing that. No, no, I, want, no, I know you ain't know that. <laughs> I, want, I want you to have good coffee. Yeah. But if you don't like it, you, you need to let me know. Oh, man, for sure. And then, Listen, where can they find you, social media uh, outlets? You just go to uh, www.brutality.coffee. Yeah, for And that's sure. our website. We ship all over the world. So there you go, man. You're good. Oh, man. Listen, guys, I want to let y'all know. Y'all know how we do it on the Healthy Bearded channel, right? A lot of y'all been buying the coffee that I've been recommending with Bustelo. But let's see how this company does, man. Let's see. So appreciate it. Thank you so much, brother. Absolutely, brother. Man, have a good one, man. Take nice care, meeting man. you, brother. Take Stay care, out of man. trouble, all right? Awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo, that's so lit. That's so lit. Guys, this is the stuff that happens, like, when you come out and stuff like that. I was not expecting that. The brother just hooked me up with two things of coffee. Rising Grind. And uh, Guts and Glory. So, guys... Oh, now we got some coffee to try at the CMU, okay? Let's go on the other side, see what they got going on. What's up, man? There you go. <laughs> what are you using? What, what, what beer product are you using in your beard, brother? Uh, right now? Right now. It's Hard Head. Hard, <laughs> hard Head by Bedhead. Okay. There yeah, you yeah. Go. How yeah, do you yeah. feel? How do you feel? Is this your first competition? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it is. How do you feel about it? Oh, dude, it's fun. Yeah. Hell yeah. Will you be here next year? I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna right. do my yeah. best. Well, there you we'll go. We'll see. I'm learning this year. Next year, I'm gonna win this year. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Have a good one, brother. Right on. Thank right, you. Yep. So I guess on this side over here, they're doing haircuts and stuff like that. And this is the honest Amish boot. I know I heard a lot of you brothers talk about this company when you first got into the community. This is one of the more bigger companies out there, but for sure, for sure. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Is that, did you win your competition? I have won my category, yeah. I'm national champion, full beard, groomed, uh, how do you 6 feel? or 12 inches. How do you feel? How do you feel about winning? I am so freaking stoked right now. Yeah? 
I mean, we're all winners. Yeah. Because we're doing so much for our community. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what products are you using in your beer? I use uh, Bearded Elio Warrior Honest Amish. Okay. Uh, that's what I've been using. Oh, there you go. Right awesome, awesome. Awesome. How you feeling, sir? How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What competition were you in? I was in the Garibaldi category. Okay. Okay. Is this your first time competing? Uh, in Garibaldi, yes. Not okay. in it, not in general. Okay. So, what you ranked in what spot? I got second place. Second place. Second right. place. So tell me what you think is gonna. What do you think you could have done better, or different? Uh, or do you think the competition was just that it, intense? It was. It was super tight. It, yeah. It could have gone any way with any of us, honestly. Yeah. It yeah. Was, yeah, just it's up awesome. to the judges, and uh, awesome. I'm just excited. Awesome, awesome. You're gonna be on my vlog, man. Check out the, the video when it comes out on my YouTube channel. Awesome. Healthy bearded. Cool. All right, take it easy, man. Thank you. All right, yo. So, okay. So, hey. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put you. No, wait, wait, wait. You can't say hi. So, uh, do you give me permission to use you on my vlog? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So you're gonna be on the Healthy Bearded YouTube channel. All right, I like it. So you it. actually competed, right? Yeah, I was one of the creative with creatives. Okay. So how did you? Was this your first time? No. No. Okay. So tell me what made you kind of want to get into that style of content, like you, you know, competing and stuff like that. So I was actually in a car accident like six years ago. Okay. Yeah. And I was in the ICU. Okay. And in order to get out of the ICU, I was bribed with beard competition, my first one. Really? I got out of the ICU, made my first beard. And Where can they find you on your social media? Um, I'm. Irish underscore curves on Instagram. Oh, I like. Okay, okay. So, guys, make sure you go follow her. Uh, you can check me out on Healthy Bearded. That's where the vlog's gonna be at. So, you'll thank see you. yourself on the vlog. Awesome. All right, thank you. It's been a journey. It's been. We've been preparing for this type of event. I want to give a shout out to Copper John's Beard Company for sponsoring me to come out here today. It was fun. The competition was intense. I didn't realize these brothers were gonna bring the heat. As a matter of fact, I might use heat next year because the competition is no joke. You know what I'm saying? But definitely a great time, man. You know what I mean? But we'll be here again next year. I appreciate everyone that follows uh, this YouTube channel, Healthy Beat It. If you are not subscribed and you are watching this, do me a favor. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Hit a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. And uh, yeah, man, maybe I'll see you guys, any of you guys that watch this video, maybe I'll see you here next year. Have a good one. I'm out.